Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this week we've been uh, all over the Mediterranean. We've been uh, through Italy and France and now we are in Spain and uh, we are in Barcelona checking out the Sagrada Familia. Today is just kind of a different episode. I wanted to talk a little bit about just kind of real talk with you guys. Um, some of my favorite books and movies and podcasts and uh, YouTube channels that really helped me kind of uh, transition from this whole uh, religious experience to more of a spiritual experience. And uh, even if you are religious, I think you guys might really enjoy a lot of this stuff. Um, anybody really that's looking to uh, you know, to progress personally and uh, enhance their spiritual life, I think might really enjoy some of this stuff. But anyway, I, starting with books, I would highly recommend checking out a book called Chakra Therapy by Keith Sherwood. That's probably been one of my favorite books. It's a lot more than just chakra cleansing. Uh, I, you know, I picked it up thinking it would just be teaching me about chakras, but it's basically like a guide to life and uh, talks a lot about um, different religions and how they all coincide and just really kind of understanding the big picture of things. So I'd highly recommend that one. Another one that I've really enjoyed uh, is uh, Michael Singer's The Untethered Soul. That's a great book just about not attaching and uh, kind of opening your mind to different ideas and such. Um, Another one would be Waking Up by Sam Harris, and that's kind of like a guide to spirituality without religion. But again, just really great for anybody. Um, another thing that I would, I would recommend anybody read uh, that might seem a little overwhelming uh, if you're not familiar with it, but it's the Tao Te Ching. You can actually just download online just a PDF for free and read it. And I think, I mean, it's a real easy read in the sense that it's uh, pretty short. You could probably get through it in a day or two, but it's just so beautiful and poetic that, um, you know, I took a little more time reading it. And there's also a bunch of books about the Tao Te Ching as well uh, that kind of explain it a little bit more. So I um, would highly recommend that. And then the last two books I would recommend uh, would be Illusions by Richard Bach that is it's a fiction, uh, but there is a lot of kind of parables throughout. Uh, it talks about this reluctant messiah and, uh, and Richard Bach basically playing himself learning from this, this, this messiah. And it's really, really interesting. Yeah, and lastly, I would recommend a book by David Lynch called Catching the Big Fish. And really anything by David Lynch is going to be great. He is a filmmaker, director, and uh, really big in uh, transcendental meditation. So in ways of movies, uh, one that I would really recommend that I actually watched twice the first time that I saw it is called The Shift by Wayne Dyer. This shift, this movement from the morning to the afternoon of your life, generally it's preceded by what we call a quantum moment. I would highly recommend that movie. It's so good. Um, Another, uh, another film, well, two films actually that I would recommend is Samsara and Baraka. Uh, not some, there's no message, there's no narrative in it, but uh, it's kind of like a guided meditation in a sense because it's uh, mostly, it, I mean, it's shot all over the world, but just really beautiful cinematography that kind of uh, opens your mind to different cultures and different ways of seeing things. And so that, that really opened my mind as well. Um, I, I would say uh, most of what I've been watching lately has been like YouTube videos. And so a couple of YouTube uh, channels that I've really been following is Sadhguru. See, if you believe there is God or if you believe there is no God, you're in the same boat. You believe something that you do not know. If you see, I do not know, the longing to know will arise within you. If the longing arises, the seeking arises. If the seeking arises, the possibility of knowing exists. It's usually a, a crowd of people in a room that are just kind of asking, you know, a bunch of different questions and, and uh, that's really cool. Uh, somebody very similar to him, if you like that, would be Mushi. From one candle, you can light a million candles. If one come and lights their own candle right there, you can light a million souls, you know? So powerful is that. And uh, again, really great stuff, especially if you're trying to get a little bit more into self-awareness, um, live in the moment. Also, 
Anything by Eckhart Tolle is really good. This is the most vital thing in spiritual life, is to be able to watch your mind, to be the observer of your mind, so that the mind is not controlling you. And that is how you eliminate stress. Yes. And suffering. And, uh, and of course, my favorite, who was a huge factor in, uh, in basically introducing me to Eastern philosophy and explaining it in a way that's uh, understandable uh, and interesting would be Alan Watts. Is that each individual experiences himself as a peculiarly separate being. In other words, every man thinks of this world as a collection of objects. And uh, speaking of Alan Watts, even though he has passed on, there is a podcast of all of Alan Watts's like uh, speeches and discourses, which is really interesting. And speaking of podcasts, uh, a couple of my favorite podcasts would be, uh, first of all, the Joe Rogan Experience. That podcast is extremely interesting for me and uh, very insightful. He has just awesome guests on there. Some of my favorite uh, episodes on there is where he has uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. If, if there is really an infinity, there is not only a you and an I, but there's a you and an I and everybody else we've ever met and all the exact events in the exact same order have gone down an infinite number of times, including this conversation. Okay, except. Except. Uh, um, there is, uh, I don't know how many people know this, but often it's mind-blowing when you learn that some infinities are bigger than others. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, just thought I'd share with you some uh, some insightful uh, content and uh, and media that I've been into as of late that have been kind of uh, inspirational to me and, and educational uh, as I've been creating this channel, as I've been uh, transitioning from religion to spirituality. But again, anybody can be spiritual, whether you're religious or not. And I think... Uh, I think, you know, always expanding our mind, being open, uh, that's the best way to live, you know? And so uh, with that said, you guys, stay curious, and we'll see you next time.